I'd like to do a version of Sir Duke where it's just you. I would do 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 Just a, about two weeks ago in Norway, I peeked into a, a room where the hotel where we were staying. There was an 18-piece big band. They were playing along, and then I just kind of was standing there. The next thing you know, the bass player hands me his bass. They played Sir Dukes, and then they said, okay, solo, and then I'm going, wow. But it was so much fun, and people were having such a good time with that song. It reminded me that, wow, oh, what a great song. So I said, okay, let's record this. But instead of doing exactly the same arrangement, you know, let's, let's twist it around a little bit. Yeah, Sir Duke, I didn't do too much altering. What makes that unique is the fact that Nate is playing the tune and uh, doing the Stevie Wonder part. See, a lot of the things in, in, in Sir Duke were, uh, they're kind of set in stone, you know, it's like quoting from the Bible, you know, when a, you don't want to mess with it too much. Just think about records that I grew up on, Stevie Wonder's records and stuff like that, where you felt like, okay, this is kind of like a story to our lives. This record reminds me of that, and it, it makes me feel like this will be the story of you know, people's lives later on. started with the song and then they're, okay maybe it should go to this key okay try this try this and we, we kind of try things and see what everybody likes and sometimes they work sometimes they don't most of the time the guys really can deliver it